Today I thought we'd take a look at this three-phase brushless motor controller. This is a no-haul BLDC PWM driver and I received this from eBay and one thing that I thought was kind of unique about this board is it really seems to do a good job without the haul or encoder feedback and also even though there, there's plenty to choose from when you start searching for the higher voltage levels most of them do stop at either 36 or 40 volts I know this one only shows 50 volts but this is this is one of the highest that I've seen in rating and the reason why it mattered to me is I really want to use this with my Ego 56 volt but I do know obviously we use it at fully charged these are around about 58 volts so we got to think about 58 volts is about 16 percent over the 50 volt rating um, this particular battery is one of my first repair packs and for this exact purpose here I have run this one down to about 51.7 volts so I was trying to get it below 52 volts so at 51.7 we're at about three and a half percent over but however for the very first test I'm actually going to use this older CNC uh, three-phase motor they used to have a built-in drive used to have the encoder built in as well and I'm actually just going to bring over my 24 volt supply on my first test so I've simply added a 20 amp fuse and here we have our, our ground our VCC and our W V and U so our phase so this is our UVW our plus and our ground and on this side we go from ground to direction it also has a break and we have a PWM and a 5 volts so I just simply have a, a jumper here between ground and uh, direction so I can easily change direction if I want to just by lifting this wire instead of putting a switch in here for testing so so I'll get right to it I'm going to bring over the 24 volts here let's move this out of the way go ahead and hook up our motor phases So we guys got a quick setup here. I'm going to cut the 24 volts on. And I do have the potentiometer turned all the way down here. And that is pretty smooth. pretty sweet so of course we could use a PWM signal coming in instead of the potentiometer we have a jumper here um, if we want to use the external PWM I think we just remove that jumper and uh and just inject our signal in I believe there's also another board that is on eBay that I started to buy I think you can do the little external potentiometer if you wanted to do so okay now I'm going to get this out of the way just bring over the ego battery and also it's one thing I've been wanting to try it on if you remember the video I did um, I tried to repair this blower it ended up being uh, not cost-effective at all to, to actually fix the controller and uh, one thing I wanted to do was have this motor because this is a BLDC uh, of course three-phase motor and it, and it is uh, sensorless no hall effect sensor or encoder uh, feedback so what I want to do now is remove this and we'll hook this up and we'll be right back 
So back now we have our power coming from the connector from that blower going to our little controller. And we have our three phases to the motor, the blower motor, hooked to the BLDC controller. As we hook this up, and our capacitor charges, we do notice right off that our capacitor is only rated at 50 volts. So we really don't want to go much higher than that. So for this test, I'm only putting, see, I think it's still 51, low 51 volt. Yeah, 51.7 volts still. You see how it controls this, uh, this little high output motor here. Smooth. I need to get it up all the way. I think I'm going to flip it over. And instead of reversing the leads, I'm just going to um, just take a loose the direction. And it should change. So that should change the direction there instead of swapping the leads. Make it easy. And now it should kind of push up and hover here. Absolutely. It's working very, very well. So back now, <laughs> I had to move a few papers out of the way. You couldn't see it, but I had papers flying everywhere. So sounds like a little jet engine so today i just thought i would share this um little small brushless bldc controller with you i've been wanting to try it out for a while and um so right after the video where i was doing troubleshooting on this board and just called a fault finding video because the controller was not really worth repairing for about the price i could buy just some of the components to repair that board and maybe even for the shipping of those components to be honest i found this little controller this little three-phase brushless controller so i just thought i would share it um it's not ideal because if it went to 60 volts i think we'll be covered but because it's only 50 volts i'll be scared to put a fully charged battery on it however i felt going three three or four percent over i felt kind of comfortable with it but still you don't really want to go over on the voltage rating but that actually um did work very well so just thought I would share that if you need something similar. And uh, for 40 volt stuff, it will probably be perfect. So you just put your voltage in. Like our first test, I just put in our 24 volts DC on a 24 volt servo uh, for the initial testing. And it works seamlessly. So I only have the two that I tested here. But uh, both of them just work phenomenally. So Cause if I would have had this in hand when I was doing my troubleshooting on the blower instead of saving it for parts, I probably would have just tried to repair it, even though this is just slightly larger than the controller that was in it. Hey, I would have mounted the project box on the outside or something and, and got the blower functional. Um, I may have would have had to use batteries less than 50% charged or so, but uh, nevertheless, I still could have used it. And I still have all my components. Um, I could still put it back together and, and do it if I really wanted to. It was a spare blower for me. I had bought it as a non-working unit, as mentioned in the video. Just want to see if I could get it going. We had had some luck with some uh, chainsaws and an uh, Ego battery BMS board and things. So I just thought I'd give it a shot. Um, it just had so many bad components that it got beyond economical repair. So we just called it a fault-finding video. But, but this actually would be an alternative. Um, if we see one at 60 volts rated, it will be even better. So back now with a charged 
battery it's uh, almost fully charged we're reading about 57 and a half volts you, in case you wonder I do have some uh, model 5 protection on here so I always wear protection especially when we're going to be uh, putting a little more voltage than a cap is rated and so far so good Even though it, it did push the limits on it, it did work at 58 volts if you did need it to uh, to do so. But I, I would, as a precautionary measure, put a 100 volt cap in here if I did uh, decide to run it. Just so you know, um, that was just simply for testing for you for you to view it there that it that everything else electronically seemed to do okay. I'm assuming built-in regulators and uh, one of the chips actually is laser etched off. You actually can't read it uh, at all. So. A very interesting um, board for the money. Very, very pleased and amazed at how well it works. So 6 to 50 volts, 16 amps and 20 amp peak. 380 watt rating. Does tell you if the is required because it has no overcurrent protection. So it lets us know it has no built in onboard fuse. And that is a jumper for external speed control if it were, if it were to do so. It's a part number here if you're interested. Must be the date code. I hope you enjoyed that look into this brushless motor controller. If you liked the video today, please like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.